All right, coming up next, it's a lightweight matchup between Benil Dariush and Rafael Dos Anjos. He's got power, he's got speed, he's got finishing instincts in all realms of mixed martial arts. Here is the Rio de Janeiro born Southpaw UFC staple former lightweight champion Rafael Dos Anjos. This guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 31 wins, 14 losses. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Rafael Dos Anjos! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 22 wins, 4 losses, and 1 draw. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of your Belinda, California, USA, Benil Daryush! Okay guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. So here we go with round one. Of course, few guys in this division can grapple as effectively as he can. But maybe some pause tonight given the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt on the other side. Yes, and he may use his grappling in reverse to stay upright because the Jiu-Jitsu fighter is such a great fighter. He's such a fantastic fighter. He's so skilled. He's so tricky and he's so good at leaving a web that gets you lost in it. That standing may be this grappler's best chance to win the fight. Oh, is that a big knee to the body? We'll see if he can follow up. Oh! Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. 
real sneaky body kick. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Lands with the kick there, no pad on that foot. No shit guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws. Right, single collar tie now. Oh, massive head kick there, we'll see if he can finish. He's hurt really bad. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. That strong bottom work here, staying busy. Three minutes now to go in this one. with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Oh, he hurt him bad with a jab. Takedown defense holds up. And they separate. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Battle for position here. And they set. All well you know about his kicks, they are on point this evening. Daryush's kick is blocked. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Good stick. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. He's got to start moving. Quick entry here. Nice single leg entry. Rotates ahead on side drive. Oh, takes oh, the full ride. Slams him on his back. What a takedown. How's that feel to be on the wrong end of that? that? Not, I mean, honestly. <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> Doryush is trying to lock up on a submission now. He's a tight arm bar now. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Brilliant submission defense there. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. And he landed the right hand there. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions off his back. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom player. Daryushas has got full mount now. Working off of his back here, looks like he may try to hip escape. Round two straight ahead. Let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. You ready? You ready? All right, round two. Caught that kick there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Hooked 
to the body here, blocked by RDA. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more than enough. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Continues to work out of that tight clinch. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Oh, collar tie. Big punch land. Ooh. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. And they separate. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Nice kick there by RDA. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Oh, nice pop there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his opponent where he A sigh of relief from the people. Looks like he's trying to isolate an arm here, DC. Yeah, he's isolated it to try to get a Kimura here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Right into side control, upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you gotta look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten him out. Just go for the finish. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very deep position. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace. Great action to get to that kick, though. My bottom fighter here maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. Now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, he's got his back now. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. You are seeing why one of the best that we've seen doing in a long time. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job. Oh, another takedown by Doryush. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage. Now he's attacking the triangle. Triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like it's getting in deep. Watch triangle, watch triangle. He's to push the arm to the side, get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. Then he's out. And they both stand up. Way to hide that leg kick. Darius trying to faint his way in. All 
right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Are you ready? You ready? Fight! Third round underway. Oh, a huge clock there. Some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Beautiful leg kick. Oh, he connects there. Los Angeles is striking with sharp here as he lands the punch there, DC. Jason Carrillo doing a lot of good work there with RBA in Southern California. Man, he's timed the shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. He went high on that one. He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. Oh. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one. So he continues to slow his opponent down, and nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He won't be able to take many more. Think about Edson Barbosa, how he lands those beautiful leg kicks, no wind up so fast. Eventually, guys get stopped from taking too many. This seems to be the path. A beautiful entry as he secures the double leg takedown. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Dos Anjos. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. So what he has to do here is just try to stay relaxed. Big explosive action, panicky actions are what gets you submitted a lot of times. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. We pass the midpoint here of the fight. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Dosan Joseph's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Under two minutes now to go in the round. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Well, you know I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week too. <laughs> Back mount now. to the feet now. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. And they separate. Rush right hand is true. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Oh, nice shot there. Takedown landed. And this might just be a matter of time.
Oh, he's attacking Choke now. Oh, he's got a choke. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action. But the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. All right, next round is underway. He did a great job in the previous round, largely untouched. Reminds me a little bit of Dominic Cruz, the former UFC Bantamweight champion. Defense is the primary focus, and that was certainly evident in the previous round. Yes, Dominic Cruz was one of the more brilliant defensive fighters we have ever seen. He did it with footwork. This man tonight has done it with his blocking skills, with his vision and his ability to just not be where his opponent thinks he's going to be. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Nice super punch. Taryusha's hook shot is blocked. Saw that coming from a mile away. Such a fast leg kick. Just a slip there. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they're fighting behind it real well. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, he might be out. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Big clutch lands through the middle. Taken down by Dolich. Back to the feet now. Oh, wow. Huge head kick. Well, it's all patient pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, that was nice, John. That was nice, but the kick down the tip. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Remaining active here in his pursuit of the submission, another attempt here. An attack and armbar. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Somehow stays in the fight. 90 seconds to go. Dos Anjos' lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Less than a minute to go in the round. Now the hammer fist here by Doryush. 
That's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed his kick with so much force. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. And they separate. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And now he's got that tight punch. That knee might have landed there. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Beautiful strike. Daryusha's kick was. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. Oh, big punch land. Try to establish that jab. He misses with the right hand. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. And he connects with a foul. Oh. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, big left hook there. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, really nice work to keep Izzy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Buck. There's the right hand there. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Good work from the top here by Rafael Dos Anjos. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Dos Anjos. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's headlight through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Or now he's looking for a Kimura attack. He's going to try to use that to sweep. Gets the win by submission. Beautifully executed there on the ground. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability 
to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger in finishing fights. So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career, and it'll be very interesting to see how they matchmake him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, eight seconds of round number five. Declared the winner by tap out due to an arm bar. Ready so there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened. Man. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. And his opponent is known to lay in the guard. He made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory.